homies and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and in the background you can see a little snippet of Lincoln. Link! <laughs> uh, today I am opening some happy mail for you guys. There you can see him. Uh, not for you guys, what? I am opening some happy mail. Um, it is actually a... Um... Okay, I'm so distracted by him. It is actually a uh, collab uh, company sent me some stuff to unbox on my channel. Um, and I'm like, heck yeah, I will totally uh, open some stuff up on my channel. So I have here a little um, gray mailer bag and let us open it up and see what's inside. All right, guys, I got everything out so that we can go through it. Um, so this is from a company called VIP Cross Stitch. I will have all of this stuff linked in the description box below. Um, I'll link like each individual item. I'll link the website. And I also have a discount code, which I will also put in the description box below. It is Nova with a capital N 07. But like I said, it will be in the description box and that is for 7% off. So I got... A couple things that I did not get in uh, previous unboxings because I want to get like a little variety of different stuff to try, you know, expanding my crafting horizons. So starting with the cross stitch, which you guys may remember, I uh, got some cross stitch stuff and I'm a cross stitch total newbie. Um, but you guys told me a couple different things um, that I realized that I should have done. Um, one of which was to get smaller cross stitches as my first one, which I don't remember how big these ones are. Okay, I think these are smaller than the ones I got. The ones I got in my last, like, unboxing, uh, they're really, really big. This one I think is still pretty big, but, um, it was cool. And it's going to be difficult to show you guys. I'm going to have to pop up a picture because the uh, picture that comes with the pattern is like incredibly blurry. Um, I don't know why, but it is like super, super blurry. And hopefully that doesn't um, reflect the quality of what I should expect from the cross stitch itself. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. But I will pop a picture up over here. Um, it is a 14 CT counted cross stitch castle in bottle. Um, and it is totally Hogwarts. Um, and that is why I got it. Um, but yeah, the picture for this is like super blurry on in the actual packaging. So here is the... Um, Whatever this thing is called, I already forgot. I know you guys told me. Does it say anywhere what this is called? It smells like a little, little funky. It's not too bad though. Like a little chemically cotton canvas embroidered cloth. I know you guys are going to remind me down below, but I totally forgot what this stuff was called. But yeah, this one is smaller, uh, quite a bit smaller. So I think that was what the 14 CT is. I don't know, guys. I'm so new to cross stitch. I really don't know. But yeah, so I did get a smaller cross stitch. This is the size it's going to be, and it is going to be a castle in a bottle. So that is the way that that looks. And let's see what else comes in here. It comes with... A little baggie of goodies. It's got a needle threader, um, some needles, and I think this might be sort of like a thimble, but it's like a little band, like a ring, kind of. And then there's a pom-pom that they stuck the needles into, which I think is pretty cute. And they come in this little Ziploc baggie. And then we've got a picture of our... Uh, pattern which is still super blurry for some reason and it is counted cross stitch so it's got the little bank of um what the colors correspond to so like dark gray which is number 154 is a red arrow pointing this way on here so that's kind of cool makes it easier to read 
And then they gave me a um, little holder that is already pre-filled with all of my embroidery threads. So here is how that looks. And that is what comes with this one. Um, the edges of this are like frayed. I don't know how normal or abnormal that is, but just noting the things that I notice. You guys will have to let me know if that's like a common occurrence or if this will be a problem or not. So when you guys finish these, do you normally frame them? I am really excited to get diving into the cross stitch stuff. I think it's going to be fun. Don't mind the crinkles as I put this back in here. So there is our first one. And like I said, I tried to um, hit some of the notes that you guys pointed out to me that I probably should have uh, started with something smaller. So that is that one. All right. And then my other cross stitch thing is, let me switch information tabs. Uh, this one is also a 14 CT one. This one is 14 CT Joy Sunday Stamped Cross Stitch Monstera. This one comes in that really nice type of thick bag like I showed you guys on another unboxing that I did. Um, I really like these bags. They're uh, resealable and uh, the front has the image for the pattern but it's actually the paper that's in here so you could totally reuse these and put your own patterns in them. And then the back has um, details like it like tips and tricks and uh, like little embroidery uh, descriptions and stuff like that. So that could definitely be helpful. Um, so I got this Monstera one with my sister in mind actually. She is like obsessed with Monstera and actually I am still working on um I started making her this Monstera thing that is like you make little Monstera leaves and you shove them into a little like pot and they're actually coasters and you pull them out she sent me a video she had seen on TikTok where someone had made one of those and um so I was freehanding one and I just haven't worked on it again yet <laughs> but I do have that in the works all right, so this one is, looks like it's more simple. Um, so it comes with the little cover photo. And then it's got the Monstera like diagram, the printed version. And I really like these. Um, I think that they're like, this one's laminated. Is it also like a sticker? I'm not sure why they do these in sticker form, but I like that they do that. It's just cool to me. But they're like laminated. Not 100% sure. I don't know if this one's a sticker, but it's laminated on both sides. Um, and then it's got the pattern here, and then there's like a little bit of the pattern on the back. Um, and they did like numbers, numbers and letters for their... Uh, like diagram like here's the the key so instead of doing symbols they did like letters and numbers and I got this one because it is a printed uh cross stitch and remember I told you guys that after doing some googling I had seen like the consensus uh general consensus was printed was the better way to go um but a couple of you said that you actually prefer uh or not printed sorry counted was the way to go but a couple of you said that you actually prefer printed and I was like you know what I should get like a little bit of both that way I can try both and see what I like so I got this one that is a printed um cross stitch I love the way that they did that how they made the leaves different colors so that you can actually see them because otherwise they would just be so overlapped you wouldn't be able to tell so I foresee me probably preferring counted just because I feel like you're going to see this through. Um, but like I said, this seems like a good one to try to try out printed as well. And then they gave me um, my little thing of embroidery threads. And there's a little uh, packet of two needles stapled onto it. So that's what this one comes with. 
And this one is also smaller than um, the ones that I got previously. So once again, um, I got, I took some advice uh, that you guys had given me and I got some smaller ones and I'm also going to try a printed one. And now to see if it takes me seven business days to get this back in the bag. It'd probably help if I tried to put one thing in at a time and I'm like trying to put everything in at the same time. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I love this little sleeve though. There we go, starting to get in now. I just had to find the sweet spot of actually getting it in. <laughs> and then it is resealable. All right, and for the next thing, I decided to get something also a little bit new and different. Like I said, I'm trying to um, kind of get like a little variety of things to try. This is what's called a stamped bead embroidery. So this is a bead embroidery. And I thought this was really cute. It's a little chunky unicorn. Um, the packaging is all uh, written in... Um, I think this is Chinese. Not 100% sure if anybody knows what Chinese characters look like, they can let me know. I know it's not Japanese, but little chunky unicorn. And then here's what the back looks like. It's got other uh, little things that they make. And it's also got a QR code. <laughs> I This reminds me of those like little um, Daiso, uh, like little crafting packs that you can get. So let me open it up and we can see what's inside of here. So this one is not resealable. And um, let's see. Oh, you guys, I forgot to tell you the prices. I am so sorry. Let me reopen those tabs because I had totally closed them. Okay, so the Monstera cross stitch was $4.12, which is like super, super cheap. And the um, Castle in a Bottle is $4.07. So they're both very like cheap and affordable uh, cross stitches. And then this unicorn one is $2.70. So what comes inside of here? Oh, I guess you must stuff it because it comes with uh, some polyfill. So we've got some polyfill and the insert you guys i am so dumb it is resealable i opened it at the wrong end <laughs> oh my god uh leave it to me okay so anyways you open it up and it's got the little pattern um since it's double-sided i guess we're making uh two pieces and the instructions are not in english so here is what the instructions uh, look like. And then we've got this polyfill and then we get this little, um, little bag of the stuff that we need. And let's see how they do this. Okay, so it comes with two little bags of seed beads. These super, super tiny seed beads. Super, super tiny. Oh, wait, sorry. It comes with four bags of them. The other ones were hidden under the string, under the embroidery thread. So it comes with all of these seed beads. And then I think that these little blue ones will be the best to show you. They are tiny. These are like microscopic. <laughs> So there's those. It comes with four little baggies. It comes with a keychain um, and a couple of needles. 
looks like it comes with four needles and um, what you need to make it into a keychain. And then it just comes with this little thing of embroidery thread and some, um, uh, what would I call this? Like plastic string. I can't think of what you call it right now but it doesn't come on one of those little things. So good thing I got my own little um, embroidery string organizer thing. Uh, remember I was like, oh, maybe I didn't need to get this. They all seem to come with their own, but, but I got that little plastic one. Now it'll be handy. And then it comes with this. So this is like um, a more rubbery type of texture than the other ones have been. I wonder if this is like a coated material Let's see. Bead embroidery keychain, keychain and beads, bead type, full bead category pendant. Okay, it comes with filling cotton, printed embroidery cloth, high quality embroidery thread, embroidery needles, enough beads key ring and drawing. Okay, so it doesn't say, but this feels like it's like uh, coated or something or uh, maybe like a different material. It almost is like, um, kind of feels like silicon-ish versus the other ones were like, you know, more cotton feeling. Um, so that is what this one comes with. And I will put all that back in the bag uh, in a second because that's probably going to take me a second to get back in there. Um, and then... We've got, I got some little odds and ends. So I got these, or this. It is um, listed as a brown embroidery. Let me get you guys focused first. It is listed as a brown embroidery crochet handmade craft household sewing supplies dark brown. Um, but it is a needle, like embroidery needle, that are little tiny crochet hooks. So I don't know if I'll be able to really show you because it's so tiny. But these needles are actually little tiny crochet hooks. You see that? And honestly, I don't know what I'll do with this, but I just thought it was really cool. Um, and I kind of just wanted it. <laughs> so it was $3.47. And... Um, Product description is embroidery wooden handle crochet hook with three needles. French crochet embroidery beading hoop sewing tool set DIY craft feature. Each set consists of one wood handle and three interchangeable needle heads. The handle has a comfortable contoured shape and a brass needle grip. Three needle replacements. Uh, and the needle sizes are 0.7 millimeters, 1 millimeter, and 1.2 millimeter. Yeah. So um, I thought that this was really cool. And so it's basically super tiny little crochet hooks. Um, and then the next thing that I got was actually something that I needed when I was trying to do um, um, tapestry crochet. Uh, I had tried to do tapestry crochet recently-ish. That was a little while ago now. Um, but I realized that I needed bobbins, um, to carry my colors, um, to make it easier. Cause I, the, I had bought giant one pound skeins, skeins of yarn, uh, to do that with. And so, um, yeah, it definitely wasn't going to work that way. I really needed bobbins. Um, so when I saw that they had these, these are what, um, I've seen other people use as bobbins. So when I saw that they had these, I was like, ah, perfect. So um, for this three pack, these are $3.92. It is a three piece cross stitch embroidery tool fixed embroidery clip. Um, snap fastening, easy to draw. Let's go ahead and open it up. And I'm looking at the listing and if you buy more than one, you get like more off. So this is one set and it comes with three, but if you buy two sets, you get 10% off, three sets, you get 15 and four sets, you get 20%. So, um, this is what it looks like and it opens up. It feels like really good quality. It's just plastic. Um, it's got a metal spring and it says that this like comes out. It says snap fastening, easy to drop. I'm not sure what that means, but there's like a picture of it being like popped out. 
I'm not 100% sure why you would want it out. Oh, okay. So I'm looking at the pictures. And one thing that you can do with these apparently is roll up your cross stitch and clamp this around the cross stitch. And it'll hold it rolled up. Um, that's not what I got it for, but you can use them for that. So these are called cross stitch clips. Windproof, anti-slip, strong bite, no indentation marks. Uh, and it has like multi-function use. You can use it for quilt drying, blanket drying, clothes drying, uh, clipping your embroidery uh, stuff. So they have it like shown like they're using it to clip it to like a clothesline or uh, over the top of a quilt like that's folded. Do, do, do. Just looking at the pictures to see if there's anything else. Okay, so... Um, in the description, it says, windproof and drying fabric, the inner side of the silicone anti-skid gasket design, strong bite force and non-slip without leaving indentation and no damage to fabric products. The gasket is fastened with a snap-on and it is not easy to fall off. Bold high elastic spring, strong resilience and firm fixation, multifunctional use, suitable for quilts, blankets, embroidery, um, suitable thickness. So I think that's all the information that you might need to know. But I got these um, for bobbins and then you can wrap your yarn around here um, and carry them, you know, when you're carrying colors, um, you can move these around. So I got myself this little pack of them. I might need more than this, uh, but I thought that this was a good place to start. And now I don't have to worry if I want to do um, a tapestry project. The tapestry project I was going to do, I decided not to, um, also because of how big it was. I realized the more I looked into it, the more overwhelmed I was getting with the fact that I was going to need so many bobbins. Um, so when I do a tapestry project, um, I'm hoping that three will be enough because I would like to do something more simple and like smaller. I was going to do a really big blanket and I was going to need a lot of bobbins. Um, so I just decided that that was a bit much and I should probably start a little smaller. Um, and then the last item that I got, this is probably my favorite. I was so excited about this. Aren't these so pretty? This is vintage stainless steel tailor cross stitch scissors sewing cutter gold, <laughs> but they're embroidery scissors. Um, this was $5.49, so this was the most expensive thing um, out of everything, actually, uh, which is still not expensive. Um, so, by the way, just so you know, I'm looking as I scroll down, I realized um, if you spend $50 or more, you get free shipping worldwide. So that's really cool. No tax. Um... Okay, uh, shipping time 15 to 20 days because it is coming from China. Um, so this is vintage stainless steel tailor, yarn, trim cut, cross stitch, scissors, sewing, fabric, cutter, needlework, embroidery, thread, shears, tool. <laughs> um, it says it, it has an exquisite retro style design, can easily and smoothly cut the cloth trimming line and is durable. I'm going to start opening these up because I am so excited. Um, made of high quality stainless steel for super durability, beautiful appearance, comfortable hand feeling, light and very sharp. Oh, these are so nice. So this is what they look like. I definitely have to give you guys a little close up of these. Oh, I love them. Wow. Oh, I really love these. Look how pretty. This is one of those um, times where the picture actually did not do it justice, I feel like. This feels very, like, good quality. It's got, like, some heft to it. The blades look nice and sharp. Um, and they said that they're stainless steel blades, so it doesn't feel cheaply made. I want to cut something. <laughs> Let's see. I don't want to cut the plastic for this, though, because they're embroidery scissors. I'll just not cut something right now. But so pretty. I love those. So gorgeous. But um, 
that's my haul. That's my unboxing. So I will link all of this stuff in the description box for you guys. Um, like I said, this is VIP Cross Stitch. So thank you to VIP Cross Stitch for sending me some stuff to open on the channel. This was super duper fun. Um, and I got like a really nice little variety of stuff. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any tips or tricks or uh, answers to any of the stuff that I was saying while I was uh, opening things. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, especially the like little um, like odds and ends. Like these seem really good quality and this seems really good quality. Um, this looks questionable but it was like super super cheap so I won't really know until I go to use this but like I said I was just too intrigued it looks like um this is more just like you know a cheaper quality item um but yeah so that is my um thoughts as I unboxed everything I hope you guys have a wonderful day and that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later bye guys